Before we begin, I challenge you, go find your favorite t-shirt in the house, put that baby on, see if your energy does not raise, your mood gets lifted before you even start, see how it affects your art. So we have a new deck out in front of us, of prompt cards, full stacks, 150 different cards, 19 million combinations, I never know what I'm gonna draw here. We're gonna draw, you're gonna draw, I'm gonna, whoever's gonna draw, whoever wants to draw can draw, whoever doesn't want to and just wants to watch, that's fine. We're all artists, you know that. All you have to do is make some marks and get your imagination going. So, I'm gonna get these cards working. 25 small subjects, let's see, that's too easy, this one, that's too easy, this one, this one, I can't see. Let's go with this one. Right here in the middle. Centipede. Ooh, those guys are mean. Medium subject. Let's see. Somewhere in here in the middle. Raccoon. Centipede. Raccoon. Large subject. It's going to be a blue whale. All right. The detail. The detail. There's 50 of these things that can throw your art hundred different directions or actually thousands of directions millions of directions but if I pick striped let's see we have centipede raccoon blue whale it's striped in oops this city that sounds good so put on your favorite shirt and let's begin On my initial layout, I wanted to keep the perspective working of the buildings, trying to make them not like lunch boxes or loaves of bread, but rather buildings. So I wanted to work in the creature, since it was a long worm, I wanted to give it some business throughout. And then I uh, added a car, and then another car under its front belly, kind of squished and uh, on fire, create some havoc. I had to clean my pen tip off because it was so gunked up. I haven't cleaned it in a little while, so I cleaned that out and it'll lay down a lot better ink. It helps with the line weight. When you're trying to push harder or softer, I want to make sure I get what I want out of the pen. So that uh, gives a little variation and it makes it look a little more interesting, especially when you're trying to draw antennae and whiskers and 10,000 legs on this thing. The legs were going everywhere, which I kind of liked, and made it look like he was climbing the building and around the building and really worked it into the scene. Then when the uh, when I needed to add those stripes, I just used my Sharpie because there's a little more control over that. And then the brush tip on the pen, so I like that. So I went to start coloring and whoops! Yeah, giant blob of ink still wet, dead center of my picture. Not good. So I took out my broad brush tip and tried to add other thickness and line weight. It worked out fine, but you have to be able to adjust and adapt, overcome any problems that come up in your art. Otherwise, you're gonna have to start all over. <laughs> So when I start adding color, it's actually pretty relaxing because it's so broad. You can't really tell what it's going to look like until you add water. I kind of love the fact that it looks sloppy and it doesn't really tie together until you start adding water to it. There's my favorite water brush. So the water really smooths everything out. I wanted some of the buildings to be reddish, kind of brownish, and because I knew the street was going to be grayish and black and darker. And then when you add the shadow underneath this creature, it gives a little better depth. I add the sky blue just so that you could set apart the smoke that's rising from the building.
always clean your brush. I went back in with my Sharpie, add some hair, give it a little more detail, some bricks, definition, and uh, yeah, I like how it turned out. Well, that about does it for my raccoon centipede blue whale who's terrorizing the city. Not sure what to call this one, but it's weird. I hope you had fun pulling stuff out of your imagination, and we'll see you next time.